Hello everyone and welcome to the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the fourth week of August. First up, Kakao Brain and Korea University's Anam Hospital research and develop healthcare hyperscale AI model. Kakao Brain announced that it had recently signed an MOU with Korea University's Anam Hospital to research hyperscale AI models in the medical field. With the goal to help determine and diagnose diseases, including incurable diseases that are difficult to diagnose, Kakao Brain plans to enhance research competitiveness by actively supporting the development of medical services that apply hyperscale AI models through this joint study. Kim Ildu, CEO of Kakao Brain, said, Using this agreement with Korea University's Anam Hospital as an opportunity, we look forward to playing a leading role in the medical field with hyperscale AI. Adding that, we will accelerate research and development of hyperscale AI in healthcare and continue to challenge the global healthcare market through cooperation with various hospitals in the future. For our next big story, Nexon is launching Hit 2, the most anticipated game in the second half of the year in Korea. Nexon officially launched their major massively multiplayer online role-playing game, Hit 2, in the domestic market at midnight on the 25th. Hit 2, developed by Nexon Games, is characterized by 1. Legitimacy that connects the worldview of the original Hit. 2. Realistically implemented high quality graphics. 3. Siege warfare and large scale field battles with unique gimmicks. And finally, high user interaction based on a unique system. In particular, it provides an expanded play experience with a new type of participating system, such as the Altar of the Coordinator, where users directly vote and decide the rules of the server, and the Creator Sponsorship Program, where users can enjoy games together while supporting creators. For our third story, AI startup Ozo announced launch of a drone-based fire detection solution Pyro X. Pangyo Startup Zone was established by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups and is operated by the Korea Institute of Startup and Entrepreneurship Development and the Gyeonggi Center for the Creative Economy and Innovation. Ozo, residing in the Pangyo Startup Zone, has launched and introduced an early fire detection solution using drones and the AI Pyro X. Currently, the PyroX beta version is operating with self-collected data over the past two years. PyroX has learned a vast amount of wildlife topography life data that exists in Korea and abroad based on its proprietary artificial intelligence development technology. Through this technology, it boasts a unique recognition rate compared to other solutions out there. PyroX is actively utilizing the drone's maneuverability to prevent fires in the blind spots of forest fires that are difficult for humans to reach. In addition, as long as there is a PC that can access the monitoring service, it can be used immediately without additional development through the SaaS service that can be used anywhere and anytime. And finally, Kakao Picoma recorded 23.2 billion yen in transactions volume in the second quarter. Kakao Picoma reveals second quarter results and future plans for its global comics and novel platform Picoma. The gross merchandise value, or GMW, of Picoma, a global comics platform operated by Kakao Picoma, exceeded 22.3 billion yen in the second quarter of this year. Pacoma's transaction volume has been growing every quarter since its launch in Japan in April of 2016, which makes this achievement even more meaningful since it was recorded by a single brand. Kakao Pacoma is constantly expanding opportunities for users to find comics, webtoons, and novels through various channels. The number of web users 
has more than doubled thanks to improvements in the user environment, such as improving the readability and convenience of web services, as well as optimizing app-based services for mobile environments. And now let's take a look at the news briefs this week here in Korea. NeoWiz releases card strategy RPG game Triple Fantasy on Steam. Serviced by NeoWiz Corporation and developed by Gamepleet, a card strategy RPG Triple Fantasy has been released on Steam, a global PC game distribution platform. Triple Fantasy will provide an optimized UI or user interface and UX user experience through the release of the Steam version for PC. It supports mobile and PC crossplay, and users between different platforms can play games together. For the next story, Spacebank selected as Disaster Safety Technology Commercialization Consulting Support Company. Spacebank, an IT startup, was selected as a Disaster Safety Technology Commercialization Consulting Support Company in the 2022 Disaster Safety Company Commercialization Competency Strengthening Consulting Program. Wani Lee, CEO of Spacebank, said, Through customized consulting from this support project, I am delighted to be able to pioneer a public procurement channel for our intelligent IoT integrated control solution. We hope that this solution will become an innovative solution that can prevent and respond to major disasters that can be used for disaster prevention, preparedness, response, and recovery activities of public institutions. And for our final story of the week, Naver Cloud adds tuning function to no-code AI platform Clova Studio. Naver Cloud announced that they have added a tuning function to the no-code AI platform Clova Studio and maximized the functionality of the HyperClova language model. Clova Studio is a no-code AI platform that allows you to explore the applicability of AI and apply it to actual services without development-related expertise. They have Playground, where non-developers can experiment with AI based on text, Explorer, where users can explore and utilize AI created by other users, and Forum, a space where users can share opinions and questions and answers. And that does it for this week's Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.